Hello girls, uh, we are now in part 2 of uh, the nutrients needed by our body. So the first is carbohydrates. I discussed that one in part 1 and then now let's continue. I'll be discussing to you fats. Fats like carbohydrate, fats are energy containing nutrients composed of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. When you're going to write that one in a molecular formula, that is COOH. For carbohydrates, I discussed a while ago, that is CH2O. For fats, this is the molecular formula. Now, however, one gram of fat carbohydrates, ah, one gram of fat provides nine calories. So this is uh, more than the carbohydrates. That's why when you are eating fats, it provides longer energy. Okay? So compared to carbohydrates. There are kinds of fats. Okay? The kinds of fat are three. They are saturated kinds of fat, unsaturated, and trans fat. Before I discuss the kinds, I will discuss to you the functions of fats. What does fats do to our body? It provides longer energy compared to carbohydrates. At the same time, it absorbs vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. We call it as fat-soluble vitamins. I will discuss this further in the presentation tomorrow. Now, it also keeps our body warm. And it protects our nerve. Have you observed, girls, uh, this is the issue in our classroom, turning off and turning on the AC. If one of your classmates is thin, okay, and then she sits near the AC, and then she said, teacher, it's cold. And then the other fat student, I will not name, okay? And one fat student will say, I'm not saying that you're big. I'm just saying you have more fat content in your body, okay? I'm, I'm not bullying you, girls, okay? I'm just saying example in science. Thin student will say, teacher, I feel cold. The other student will say, teacher, it's hot. Don't close the AC. Okay? In science, this is the reality, girls, in science. Fat student will feel warmer compared to thin. Why? The fat content of fat student has more because fat keeps your body warm. Okay? So if you are thin, you feel colder because you have lesser fat content in your body. Okay, so which is better, teacher, to be fat or to be thin? You need to be neutral. You need to be in the middle. Okay, not too fat, not too thin, but in the middle. Okay, now that is the function of our, uh, that is the function of fat nutrients. Now, here it says the kinds of fats. That is three, right? Let's summarize this one in this slide. Kinds of fats. Saturated fats are the fats that you can you could find in meat and other animals. Saturated fat are solid in room temperature. The example of that is the fat in the chicken. This is the meat part. This is the fat part of the chicken. For the beef, okay, this is the meat, the red one, and then this is the fat part. So this is solid in room temperature, but when you cook it, when you boil it, this fat will melt. Okay, so it's solid in room temperature, but when you cook it, when you burn it, it melts. Okay, another kind of fat is unsaturated fats. These are found in plants and fish. So this is liquid in room temperature temperature example is the fat in the fruit of avocado and then in fish you can I, actually you could buy in pharmacy like avocado oil you could also find fish oil and then uh, olive oil in supermarket okay so that is an example of answer unsaturated fats trans fat this is fats found in a greasy margarine and butter where can you find it teacher remember girls when your mom is cooking a pasta and then she used butter for sauteing you will find greasy uh wax here when the pasta cools down okay that thing is called trans fat and trans fat when you consume a lot of trans fat 
in your body, it can cause heart diseases. This is the normal artery of our heart. Okay, inside our heart, there's a tube. We call that tube as artery. Okay, this is normal. As you continually eating trans fatty food, like battery food, okay, battery meaning a food that has a lot of trans fat, like uh, pasta, okay, you know, pasta when you cook it in butter, it has a lot of grease, okay, when you continually eat greasy food, okay, fat will build up like this one, okay, when you continually eat, the yellow one is the fat, okay, and then this is the worst, okay, the buildup of fat can cause block in the heart artery wall and if that happened it can cause heart attack that can result to death so we better eat in a right amount it's not bad to eat but we need to eat like this food in a right amount not overdo not overdoing it okay now let's go to this page Fats in common food. So we have here a chart that shows different food. We have butter. We all we also have here margarine. And then we also have here olive oil. Okay. Now, the question here, do you think olive oil is less healthy or healthier than butter and margarine? Explain. So, the orange bar here represents saturated fat, okay? Remember, saturated fat is the fat that you can find in animals. And unsaturated fat is the fat that you can find in fish and vegetable. And trans fat is the greasy fat that you can find it in margarine and in butter. Now, here, butter has... 7 saturated fat and then the fats from the vegetable is just 3 and then the red one the trans fat is lesser okay in margarine okay so the saturated meaning the one that the fats that you can get in plants is 9 almost 9 and then the fats that you can get from the animal is around two and then the greasy fat is just lesser one and then the highest here is olive oil okay and then the lesser trans fat is almost zero okay it's just little okay now the question again do you think olive oil is less healthy or healthier the answer is it is healthier because it has the least trans fat and the most is unsaturated fat because actually girls trans fat is really harmful to our health that's why we need to take it in minimal amount in a small amount okay so if you're trying to cook using this three three uh, fats it's better to use olive oil compared to butter and compared to, compared to margarine because it is plant-based the same time this the trans fat is very less okay now what lesson can you get from this uh, thing girls so food is very important but when you overeat the food and you are not burning it properly it will stuck to your body at the same time it can cause diseases Okay, so enjoy your food in proper amount. At the same time, we need to burn it. How to burn it? When we're doing active activity, at the same time, when we're doing exercises. Example, if I am just talking here and sitting down here, I am still burning calorie, but in a lesser amount. Because I am not, you know, my mouth is only working i am just sitting but if i'm doing exercise if i'm doing zumba if i'm doing swimming swimming so my body is working all my body parts is moving okay so it requires a lot of energy so we need 
to take care of our body girls okay and do some exercise to burn the excess calories that is inside our body especially nowadays we're just at home okay so better do active activity like play do zumba do dance using xbox or dance whatever you want run move okay so so that we can burn calories okay girls so i will continue the next nutrients tomorrow in part uh in the next part okay see you i hope you enjoyed the lesson today thank you